Welcome to Remedy Tutorials Creating a Web Service. In this video, we will go through the process of building a web service that passes information between two forms and returns the request ID of the secondary form entry back to the primary form. Okay, so let's do it. We've opened Dev Studio to build a couple of regular forms to attach a web service to. The web service will um, create a ticket into one form from another form that we submit the entry into. First of all, we'll create a regular form and uh, we'll make sure that we have public permissions to all the fields. We'll select the fields. Uh, let's select all the fields. Select all the fields. And then from our properties, we'll check the permissions and uh, also allow any user to submit. Set that property to guess and set the permission properties to public. For this demonstration, we're allowing all users. Uh, this will allow any user, including anonymous users. So we've added public permissions. Let's make that change and save it. Let's also add some default values. The submitter is a required field, so it will need a default value. We're trying to make this as easy as possible. So let's select dollar user dollar keyword. So it will select the login value. Status, we can, uh, that'll stay at new. And uh, short description, we'll use short description later on. And uh, we also now will save the form and let's save it to WS test 01. We now have one form built. We can just do a save as and save as to WS test 02 form. Easy way of uh, duplicating forms. So now we have two forms and uh, this form we're going to use to submit an entry into and so we will uh, need to create a web service and then select that form name for this web service to run on. We can then add a label. You can call it anything. Let's uh, just call it uh, create entry and uh, we'll put the same thing in for the description. Create entry. Let's correct some uh, create. Yes. Okay. Now we need to create the uh, WSDL, the WSDL, and we can add a WSDL port name to it and create the WSDL that will be the uh, used in the web service. So the web service client will use the WSDL so it knows what actions we <coughs> are publishing. So we'll be consuming and publishing as well. <clears throat> we 
the port name we're putting in here, um, it can be anything you want. Uh, we're just going to put in something, a name value, we'll just say web service and uh, call it uh, create 01. We can create the WSDO uh, link after we save the web service. So we'll save it as WS Web Service. Create. Create entry. Once we have uh, saved this, then we can change this uh, URL and put in the mid tier server and port. Once that is done, we can view the whistle. So this is a XML output. Okay, so now we've uh, created our web service. We need to attach that web service uh, to a filter and uh, run it from there. But before we can do that, uh, really we have uh, forgotten one thing. We need to we need to go back to the uh, 01 form and create another field. And that will be the field that we're going to pass the entry ID back into. So uh, let's um, call query for the 01 form and bring that back up because what we'll be doing here is entering information into the uh, test 01 form. It will then the web service will then uh, submit that information into the 02 form and then pass the request ID back to the 01 form. So we'll create the field for that request ID value so we've just created a character field and we'll call that ID returned make sure we put public permissions on it and allow also we need to make sure that uh, it allows all users to submit Uh, let's put this field with the other fields. Uh, well, let's make it read only. Because this is something we don't want the user to have access to they're only going to read this information that is brought back through the web service. So now we'll make the, the filter that will run the web service. So we have the filter and we'll put add the uh, 01 form into it. This filter will run on submit. Now let's do a set field action and attach that set field action to a web service. We need to put the WSDL link in here. So we'll just go back to our web service and copy out the link.
copy. Go back to our filter, paste it in. And then we have to then load it. It then loads. The only thing we really have to do here is add the request ID. So we associate that to the ID returned. And now it's basically done. I, uh, we could have more information in here. We could link short description because we, we'll, we'll need that input. So we're going to link that from the uh, primary form to the secondary form. And let's see. Well, we might as well link assigned to. And we could link status. And that's about it. Submitter has a default value, but you, if you didn't have a so, uh, default value on that form, you could also, then you would uh, need to link it. Not necessary though. So let's save it to WS Web Service. How about Web Submit? better name. Might as well save it to the action that it is doing. So now we're basically done. We're uh, about ready to test everything. We can exit out of Dev Studio. And we can exit out to the browser. Let's log into the browser to our Remedy system and see if we can pull up our new form. But first, uh, let's let's do this first. Let's uh, let's go into the uh, server information and uh, double check and uh, make sure that we have uh, we can accept guest users. So we do that in the uh, server information area on the configuration tab. And we, uh, we do allow guest users here. If that box is checked, then we allow it. Um, since we're building this web service to run off of uh, an anonymous person login, then we need this to be checked. So, and uh, now that we've built the, um, the workflow and forms, we need to flush our cache and then we need to take any uh, we'll take any login out of the web service settings authentication information because we're going to run it uh, strictly as um, well we want the user to come in with their name that they log in with rather than some other name so by taking that out any user will be accepted uh, into the application when they log in as a guest user with the name that they use uh, they log that they logged in with so now we'll see if we can open up our new form and we'll just go up here in the URL and we'll just type it in there's other ways we could do it. if we really we could put a quick link in there but uh, that's not part of this video in this video we're just going to type it in the browser and pull it our new form up that way that we're going to make an entry into 
and there it is. We have a forum, it's in search mode. So let's change it to new request. Now we're in new request mode. Now we can make an entry. We'll put something into the short description. That's uh, testing this web service. <laughs> Why not? Now, if it works, we'll get a, uh, a request ID. We'll come back. We've now submitted the entry that we put in. Now let's query back for that entry and see if we get the request ID returned. And we did. We got the request ID returned. So we know the web service is working, at least for our login. Now let's try it for a guest user. So we exited out. We're now brought up the browser for our Remedy system and I'll put in a name that I know is not in the system. Bill, how about that? We'll log in just with Bill. And it said login failed, but it'll go in as a guest user. Okay, so it's coming up. And it's coming into the system. Since we didn't log directly into that uh, form, we'll we'll just uh, select that form link that we previously wrote and uh, we'll put a description uh, in here and I'll be uh, creating entry ticket let's create a ticket for bill Uh, so the default value it did put Bill in as the submitter. Uh, we saved it and now we query back for it and select it and we have number two entry in there and the returned ID. We know everything's working right. We know it's been submitted into the other form because it returned the entry back into the primary form. So here's a a nice easy way of passing information from one form to another form, from one system to another system, from one client uh, using a web service into a Remedy system. Thanks for watching Remedy Tutorials Creating a Web Service. You can also check out other tutorials at RemedyTutorials.com.